Hey guys, it's Merritt here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your custom mob spawn naturally. To start, you just need to give yourself a command block. So, slash. Okay, so get your command block. And then, so, first, you're just going to place it, leave it as impulse and needs redstone. So, and then it is execute at E, and then our base mob is just going to be a zombie. So, we're just going to do zombie. Okay, and then it's just these three squigglies. And then you're also going to do this. So you're going to type detect. So the execute command just means that instead of using it, uh, triggering the command at the command block, it's going to trigger it at the zombie. But this detect also means it won't trigger the command unless it finds a block. of, Unless it finds a specified block. So we're going to do detect. Squiggly, squiggly, negative one, so the block under it. So then the last squiggly, so that means it'll look for a block under it. And we're going to test for stone, so type stone, and then you're going to have to give it data, so it's zero. And then you're going to actually do the command, which mine's going to be replace... So, replace item, entity, and then at s. So, then slot dot armor dot head. Oh, you know, one there. Iron underscore helmet. And just one and then it work. One second. I don't even know what just happened because it didn't crash. It just went back to the home page. And iron helmet one and one. So that's it. So basically it's just execute your mob and then your uh, coordinates and then detect negative one basically. And then whatever block, and then zero, unless you want, like, um, a different version of that block. And then whatever command you want. So you, and you can put this as repeat and always active. And then get out some stone and zombie egg. And then, so we spawn the zombie. It's not gonna have the helmet. But if we put some stone in the ground and spawn a zombie. I forgot to do type equals zombie. Yeah, don't forget that. Type equals zombie. How is that happening? So again, if we get the zombie and we spawn it, you can see burning here, but he's onto the iron helmet. So there's a problem with this. If the zombie were to spawn over here and then walk onto the stone. So if we put the zombie on this grass block, it starts burning, but as soon as it moves onto the stone, it's going to get an iron helmet. So, you can sort of fix this by turning this into an impulse and putting it as needs redstone. And then going into your inventory. And then getting some redstone dust, some repeaters, and just a redstone block. 
<laughs> You're gonna want to build a clock. Like a really slow clock. Attached to this. And then, um. You're gonna want to build a, um, a clock. And just set all these to four ticks. Power up this clock. And. So it'll just start running. So every few seconds. It will. Um, test to see if there's a zombie on top of a stone block. And it'll give it the armor. So you can basically do anything you want with this. By giving it. Um, so you just type in the execute. At E. Type equals zombie. Um. Uh, squigglies, detect the two squigglies, negative one, squiggly, your block and its data tag, and then whatever you want the mob to do. So like, you can have it put armor on itself, or um, maybe teleport you or something like that. But I'm just going to make a mob real quick. The way this allows them to spawn naturally is... If a zombie were to spawn on a stone block, say in a cave or on top of a mountain, like that one over there, as this clock reached this command block, it would turn it into whatever that mob does. So my mob, for example, let's see, power the clock. Like that. Um. So the zombie, if it were to spawn as the redstone reaches that, just give it a second. Okay, and then it can also give me, it's supposed to be giving me wither. Oh, I know what I forgot. Stone. Yeah, zero. And this you actually might want to put on unconditional. Yeah, see, it's giving me a wither two effect. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and please do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And then hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next video.